Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. So I thought I'd do a little story time on my drive to work. Sorry, I got you right up my damn face. This tripod, I might read throw it out the window. I've got it nicknamed already. Old Drew Peacock. Y'all know what I'm saying. You stick it up there and you put your phone on it and it just goes, Mer. So it's Drew Peacock. That's my tripod's name. Uh, it's going to be out the window. That's what it's going to be if it keeps on. So listen. If y'all want to hear the story about how my grandpa lost his leg and I had to go find it and take it to him at the hospital, stick around, honey. <laughs> True story, okay? Let's hear. I got no lies to tell. We don't play no reindeer games up in here. You can't make this stuff up. So, go get you a little snack, maybe an adult beverage or seven. Have a little sit down. And you get back, we're going to tell you this story. But while you're gone doing that, this is for the people that's here for the Hadron Nation News Network's weekly update. I don't have one this week. Please forgive me. Please don't <laughs> subscribe. I mean, if you feel like you have to, that's your decision. But I'd love to have you stick around, okay? Uh, they just ain't really been nothing to report on. And your girl here's just been busy living life. You know what I'm saying? Living life. So what I'm thinking about doing just for you guys is just leaving this channel for Hater Nation News Network. That's the name of it. That's what it's going to be, okay? And if you got any recommendations of who else we can report on for stupidity here on the YouTube, let me know. I ain't scared, okay? But I'm thinking about starting a new channel just for these story times and, the, <coughs> you know, the life of Blenda, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So, because I know that there's some of you guys that don't enjoy that, but then there's some people that do. But I appreciate you. every damn one of us. I truly do. So... To stick around. Stick around for the story time if you want to. Be glad to have you. It's 100% true. Now that those are you back here with your snacks and everything, adult beverages and all that, me and old Drew Peacock here is going to tell you the story, okay? Oh shit, there's a cop. Okay, we're hands free. <laughs> Mind your business. There's also my dad. What the hell? They more kind of cops. They dirty as hell. Dad might be back there doing a damn drug deal or something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, my dad drives a big truck, and his truck's back there. He wasn't back there. But anyway, so my papa, God rest his soul, papa, don't come back and haunt me, okay? He's been dead a long time. So picture it, circa 1985, okay? Now, my grandpa, he was bad to drink, okay? But he never was a mean drunk. He was always a happy drunk, you know what I'm saying? He, he'd pick music, and he'd do all this stuff, and this is my paternal grandfather, my dad's dad, Okay? Now, these people back in the day, I swear to God, my dad's one of the oldest ones, which means they had a shit ton of kids, okay? Ten or twelve of them, I don't even know. Which means that I got some uncles and aunts that are practically the same age as I am. And it's a normal thing to have uncles and aunts around here that are actually younger than you. Weird, I know. But people around here ain't got nothing else to do, honey. They ain't got nothing else to do but procreate. I'm just saying. So, with that being said, I was about ten years old. And my grandpa, he was having trouble with my dad's youngest brother, the baby brother. He was about 18, I guess, something like that. Old enough to get out and get into things that he shouldn't be into, you know what I'm saying? So, that's Uncle Larry, okay? My favorite uncle on the planet, Uncle Larry. We call him Uncle Harry when he gets drunk, okay? So, Uncle Harry decided he wanted to go out, and he was fooling around with this older woman that was married, and he got into it with her husband. I swear to God, I swear to God he did. So, my papa who thought Larry, the uncle, you know, you, you with me, could never do no wrong, decided when he heard about this altercation that he was going to go put the lead to this feller. You with me? So when he decided to go put the lead to this feller with a big old 12-gauge shotgun, he was drunk as Cody Brown, okay? <laughs> he was drunk, I swear to God. And I reckon the tale is, I wasn't there, I didn't see it. I was about 10 years old, and I remember when it all went down. And uh, I reckon he went He went in there in the bedroom. He said, I'm going to go put the lead to that feller that whooped up on Larry. You know, because Larry, Uncle Larry's a lover. He ain't a fighter. He got his ass beat. He got his ass beat off. He's had it beat off several times, okay? He has. He's been married about 14 times, too. He loves the women, and he is he's a, he's a lover, not a fighter, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So, my papa decided, 
He gonna go put the lead every damn one of them, all right? That's just how things, that's just how things was at the time. Like I said, about 1985, you know. So, he goes in there and gets the gun, and he gets a bottle of moonshine. A big old cork jar of moonshine. Can't go nowhere without it, you know. And he goes to walk out the door, and he's got that 12-gauge shotgun loaded. And that's when them old shotguns got to break down, you know, and put the shell in it. And he had that damn thing loaded, and he was carrying it pointed down like this. And uh, somehow another trip because he's drunker in hell. And blowed his whole damn foot plumb off. <laughs> blowed it plumb off, I swear to God. So they took him, of course, to the hospital. He didn't get to shoot nobody, thank God. But he poor fella ended up in the hospital. He ended up losing his leg to right below the knee. I mean, he blew it all the hell. Okay, blow plumb the smith of reins. He did. So they gave him a prosthetic leg. Now, he never could get one to fit him. He hated wearing them. He had several. And keep in mind, my grandpa and my dad, all of them, they about six foot four, six feet tall, okay? Which means them legs is huge. Huge. So, <laughs> when I got, I think I was about, I was 16. I had my license. I was old enough to drive. My papa got real sick. He had lung cancer. He's a heavy smoker. I know. Mind your business. So, he was a heavy smoker. He got the lung cancer. He ended up in the hospital all the time. Well, one time they come and got him in the ambulance and he didn't have, he was breathing was so bad, he didn't have time. <laughs> he didn't have time to get his damn leg, you know. So, <laughs> they hauled his ass to the damn hospital. A day or two later, he calls my dad up and he said, you can go, can you go down there and get my leg? <laughs> I need my leg. <laughs> so, now, he still drank at the time now, too. He's still drinking every damn day. So, my dad, he didn't, dad worked a lot. He didn't have time. I had my license. I was like, hell yeah, I go do it. You know, a trip. I wouldn't like the kids are today. Kids today, they don't want their license. They don't want to do nothing. Hell, I didn't make up a reason to go somewhere. I was like, fake leg, hospital, let's go, okay? So, my grandpa, I need to back up a little bit that night before we went to the hospital. He'd been out drinking. And he had two or three legs, like I said, nobody knew which one he wore all the damn time, including my mamma. okay? So I go down there, and I'm like, Mamma, which, which leg is it? She said, well, the one that he wears ain't here. She said, I bet that sorry son of a bitch left that up on the side of the road, because around here, people used to, back in the day, they'd like to get on the side of the road. You can't do it no more drinking, driving, you know. And get on the side of the road and just have a big old party and just drink, shoot guns, and all this stuff. Sure enough, I swear to God, she said, he can't wear this and he can't go with, wear this and you're going to have to go find that leg. Go up there, Billy Bob. Uh, no, what the hell was it? We called it insurance bluff because around here we got all kinds of big old high bluffs and people like to shoot their cars off of it and say they stolen and shit. So we called it insurance bluff. So that's where they all like to party at. And I go up there, <laughs> that right motherfucker leg right on the side of the damn road, big old leg about four feet long with a shoe on it. And a damn sock. Soaking wet. I swear to God, it was cold as hell. Snow all over it. So I found it. He even had little garters that come up above the ankle like him old me and where you know, to hold her stockings up. I said, Lord have mercy. So I took it down there to Mamma. She cleaned it up because she was a neat freak. Holy shit. That's my, my granny. Lord have mercy. You know how them older ladies was. <laughs> I kept her damn shit clean, okay? So uh, I sure didn't take after her. My whole damn house is a fucking wreck. Listen, I'm messy as fuck. And, uh, so she cleaned up a little bit, and I was like, you, so you want me to take this to the hospital like this? And she said, yeah, yeah, I sure do. <laughs> what, what, what do you want? I said, can we not put it in a garbage bag or something? Well, it was so damn long, we put it in a hefty bag, and you couldn't put it all in there. It's either going to have the, this big old part up here sticking out, or a big foot sticking out. One of, I said, you know what, my mom? It don't matter. I'll take it. I wanted a trip. I wanted to go somewhere freedom. You know, 16 years old. I hell, I was on it. So there I went with a big old leg in the back of the car, and I had a little, uh, what the hell was that? A little old Mazda two-seater, and I had a little big old foot sticking up here right next to people staring at me. And you know how you are when you're 16? Like right now, I'd strap back right to the top of this son bitch and be like, yeah, I'm on a leg. Mind your business. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit. But at 16, I was like, Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so, 
I go in the damn hospital. And there I am, carrying that big leg. Of course, I see all kinds of good-looking guys and stuff. And there I am with a big old leg. I'm just carrying it like, there ain't no way to hide it. There ain't no way to hide it. You couldn't put it under your arm. You couldn't put it between your legs. You couldn't put it under your shirt. You couldn't do nothing. But you just had to carry a big old leg with a big old shoe sticking on it. I don't know why we didn't take the damn shoe off. Because I guess it would have been a big old foot. I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So there I go, carrying that big old leg up through there. And I get up there and I'm like, Paul, here's your leg. And he said, that's the wrong one. I said, I ain't going back. I didn't say him. I didn't cuss him then, you know. I didn't cuss her nothing. And I was a good little girl. And I said, Papa, I'm not going back. You're going to have to wear it. I'm not going back. I, I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it. And he said, I said, how many legs have you got? He said, well, I was wearing one. He said, one fell out of the truck. He said, I don't know what happened to that. And he said, I don't even know what happened to the one I had on. And to this day, nobody knows where it fucking leg went. He also lost a big Martin guitar. If you know anything about Martin guitars, about $5,000 certain ones. He lost one of them too. So that's the story about how I ended up having to go find my papa's leg. True story, 100% real. 100%. I never was so damn embarrassed in all my damn life. <laughs> God rest your soul, papa. I love you, baby. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that little story time. If I do decide to make another little channel, Lipo, I'll let you know what it is. But I need to for these story times. Is that a moose? What in the hell? Oh, it's a meth head. <laughs> Carrying a rocking chair. Never mind. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye.